Okay, everybody, I just want you to see this wonderful success from last weekend. Um, this is an earth battery, which has a magnesium, magnesium ribbon electrode and a copper electrode. Uh, there's about five feet of each electrode buried in the soil of this um, philodendron plant and it lights a jewel thief. Now this is a real jewel thief. The light is coming off of the uh, collector emitter place of this transistor. I have another jewel thief and I'll show you that in a moment. That one does not, that one is actually a pulse generator, the jewel thief on the next one. But this is a real jewel thief. It's got, um, I've got a memory capacitor uh, across the battery, you know, the, the earth battery leads, and it's a germanium transistor. But as I found out, that's not necessary. But take a look. This has been on for, um, let's see, it was 72 hours yesterday, so it's now getting to be close to 100 hours. Um, 90 hours. Let's call it 90 be on the safe side, but it has it hasn't changed at all. We're also not looking at the brightness of the light. It's it's really it's full brightness. It's just a regular jewel thief running off this <laughs> plant. Okay, bye. So here this same plant battery is running a Jewel Thief with a secondary. Now I've always called it a Jewel Thief with a secondary. In fact, this one has two secondaries. I ran out of room on the toroid, so I had to redesign my Jewel Thief, so I put this one aside. That's the only reason I have this particular Jewel Thief available. Um, I'm glad it was there. Uh, but it has two, two separate secondaries, and you can see one light is brighter than the other, and that's the function of how many times I turned the wires for each secondary. Uh, so this is this is uh, attached in the same place. Uh, the magnesium ribbon over here, the copper wire over here. There's more to come. That's a promise. Bye.